In this video, we're going to talk about the 20 safest dividend stocks to buy during a recession. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future weekly updates. Let's get started. Investors are scrambling to find the top recession-proof dividend stocks to protect their returns. What makes a company recession-proof? And why do dividends matter? For one thing, dividends are generally seen as a sign of financial strength. A recession-proof company should have strong cash flow, superior brand power and goods or services deemed essential. During the financial crisis of 2008 and the pandemic disaster of 2020, all 20 of the stocks we recommended did better than the market as a whole. There is good reason to believe that these stocks have what it takes to keep a portfolio on track during the next recession, even though past performance is no guarantee of future results. Here are our picks for the 20 best safe dividend stocks to buy during a recession, which you ought to think about including in your investment portfolio. Number 20. Lockheed Martin, ticker, LMT. Lockheed Martin is one of the better defensive plays in a recession because it generates a huge chunk of its sales from the Department of Defense, which is slated to spend $738 billion in 2020. Of that, approximately 90% goes to U.S. companies such as Lockheed Martin. During the Great Recession while consumer spending declined 8.2%, defense spending increased by 12.2%. Further, between 1970 and 2009, out of six recessions, defense spending increased in all but one. No one should be surprised to hear that LMT generates roughly 70% of its annual revenue from the U.S. government. In fact, Lockheed Martin accounts for 28% of the DOD's total spending. While many companies are laying off employees, Lockheed Martin has added 1,000 new employees during the coronavirus crisis, with an ongoing search to fill another 5,000 open positions. Lockheed Martin is now one of the best stocks to buy during a downturn because of this. Number 19. Hormel, ticker, HRL. Hormel Foods Corporation is U.S. global branded food company with over $11 billion in annual revenue across more than 80 countries worldwide. Its brands include Planters, Skippy, Spam, Hormel Natural Choice and more than 30 other beloved brands. During the Great Recession, Hormel's results were mixed, as consumers balked at some of its more upscale products. Hormel is one of the best stocks to invest in during a recession simply because it shouldn't get slaughtered. It's currently sitting on a sub-1% loss since the market peaked to beat the index by about 4 percentage points. Number 18. H&R Block, ticker, HRB. According to the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, nearly 60% of taxpayers use a tax practitioner to prepare their annual tax return. H&R Block happens to be one of the largest tax practitioners in the US, Canada and Australia. Every year, the other 40% of Americans put themselves through the annual ritual of preparing their own taxes. In 2020, as the pandemic rages, those that have traditionally done their own taxes could decide to hand over their return to a professional to lessen the anxiety of self-preparation. What will happen during this recession is very much up in the air. What we do know is that H and R Block's strongest quarter of the year in 2020 won't look how it normally does, as Americans spread out their filing duties into the summer. Number 17. Kroger, ticker, KR. Business has been booming at Kroger, the nation's largest grocery store chain with more than 460,000 workers, thanks to its role as an essential business and a food provider. The company says its same store sales jumped 30% year over year in March, spiking in the middle of the month because of customer hoarding. In the Great Recession, Kroger reported healthy earnings as a result of changes in customer routines such as eating out less, entertaining at home and buying more private label store branded items. Equally important, Kroger did well against the mighty Walmart. If the last recession is any indication, Kroger will benefit. So far it's sprinting past the market with a 12% gain as of February 2022. Number 16. Costco, ticker, COST. During the last recession, analysts worried about how many members Costco would be able to retain. It did better than expected. In 2007, Costco boasted 27,500 total primary cardholders. As America makes its way through the coronavirus recession, Costco remains one of the better positioned retailers during and after the crisis. In the company's third quarter ended in May of 2022, Costco's online sales increased by 66.1% over the same period a year earlier. Total comparable store sales improved by 7.8%, 
and profits of $1.89 per share beat expectations for $1.85 per share. Number 15. Clorox, ticker, CLX. Clorox has been among the best stocks to ride out the coronavirus outbreak. The company has produced a 21% total return since February 2022 while the index is off 4% once you include dividends. Rewarding our stockholders has always been a priority, CEO Ben Odor said in a recent press release. This double-digit increase in our dividend is on top of last year's 14% increase. It represents an ongoing effort to put our strong cash flow generation to work, which emphasizes investing in long-term business growth and returning excess cash to our stockholders, the CEO added. Number 14. General Mills, ticker, GIS. Like many consumer staples companies in a recession, General Mills tends to benefit from people not going out as much to eat. General Mills, which is responsible for numerous big brands including Cheerios, Pillsbury, Totino's, Betty Crocker, Yoplait and Annie's Homegrown, did just fine during the Great Recession. Now as we've entered another recession, current CEO Jeff Harmoning is quite optimistic about its chances. It's been so long since we had a recession and especially here in the US. But certainly during that time, people tend to eat in more, and General Mills did quite well, Harmoning said during the company's March earnings call. But that was a decade ago. We'll see how it plays out this time he added. Number 13. Diageo, ticker, DEO. Diageo is the world's largest maker of branded premium spirits. The company saw an encouraging trend during the last recession. Its US business improved despite the country being in the midst of a recession. The latest data from Nielsen suggests that online liquor sales during the pandemic are booming. During the week ended March 2022, alcohol sales were up 55% compared to the same period a year earlier. Even more impressive, online liquor sales were up 243% with overall sales up 22%. Diageo whose brands include Johnny Walker, Crown Royal, Smirnoff, Captain Morgan and Guinness has performed largely in line with the market during the downturn. But if liquor sales continue to firm up, Diageo's stock should pull away. Number 12. O'Reilly Automotive, ticker, ORLY. O'Reilly Automotive is one of the largest sellers of aftermarket automotive parts in the U.S. The company had 5,439 stores in the U.S. at the end of 2019, along with 21 stores in Mexico. O'Reilly has done a good job of balancing its revenues between DIY customers and professional shops, the business model has held Orly in good stead for decades. Last year's revenues were split 55% to do-it-your customers and 45% to owners of automotive repair shops. O'Reilly Automotive should hold its own and earn its place among stocks to invest in during this recession. Number 11. United Health, ticker, UNH. Healthcare is an excellent sector to consider when thinking about where to invest during an economic downturn, since it is a non-discretionary expense. And United Health Group is one of the largest and most influential companies in healthcare. With over 26 million insured patients, the company generated a massive $306 billion in revenue over the last 12 months and more than $23 billion in operating income. But despite its size, United Health is still growing at a steady clip. Revenue grew 12.6% in its most recent quarter, as the company beat on the top and bottom lines and raised full-year guidance. As of September 2022, it all adds up to a stock that has gone up about 7%, which isn't bad when you consider that most markets are down for the year. What's more, it pays a 1.2% dividend yield. United Health could be a great name to consider for investors looking for a safe haven in this current tumultuous stock market. Number 10. Public Storage, Stock Ticker, PSA Since opening for operation in 1972, public storage has grown to become the largest self-storage REIT in the U.S., with more than 2,400 storage rental sites spread across 38 states and more than 1 million clients. As population density increases and the population continues aging, demand for storage properties should rise over the long term, providing a nice tailwind for public storage. While the firm's quarterly dividend has remained frozen since late 2016, the payment appears to be on solid ground and has an impressive track record, public storage has paid uninterrupted quarterly dividends since 1981. The business should continue to be a cash cow given the low capital requirements for operation and the company's extremely conservative balance sheet, which has earned it a solid investment grade credit rating. As a result, public storage seems to be a top-notch, 
recession-proof investment to take into consideration. Number 9. Kimberly Clark, Stock Ticker, KMB. Kimberly Clark, like Procter & Gamble, is a proven consumer staples juggernaut that sells name brands like Scott Paper Towels and Huggies Diapers in over 175 nations. Since demand for these goods is recession-resistant, Kimberly Clark saw a rise in earnings and free cash flow per share during the Great Recession while only experiencing a 4.3% decline in sales. Kimberly Clark has paid dividends for more than 80 years, including annual increases every year since 1973. That streak should continue regardless of the economic environment. Number 8. Duke Energy, Stock Ticker, DUK. The largest electric company in the nation, Duke Energy, provides service to 7.6 million consumers in six states in the southeast and midwest of the United States. In addition, the company serves 1.6 million consumers for natural gas, creating a highly diversified, reliable, and regulated cash flow source. Duke Energy has one of the industry's largest approved growth backlogs, which totals $37 billion in planned investment between 2018 and 2022 that should deliver predictable returns. Duke Energy's financial stability adds to its appeal as a recession-resistant investment. Due to the company's strong A credit rating, Duke Energy has been able to get all the funding it needs to carry out its growth plan. And during the financial crisis, Duke Energy's shares slumped just 34% while the S&P 500 tumbled 55%. In other words, Duke Energy, with its strong balance sheet, highly stable cash flow, and steady dividend growth, is a good choice for low-risk income investors during recessions and bear markets. Number 7. Walmart Incorporated. Stock ticker, WMT. Walmart may be the firm that has always weathered economic downturns best. That's because the focus of its businesses is on providing consumers with cheap access to necessities like food and personal care products. For a while, people might refrain from purchasing in upscale stores. But people frequently need to buy things like bread, toothpaste, pet food, and other basics. And whether they're visiting the store or shopping on Walmart's developing e-commerce website, they might also end up purchasing some additional luxuries. Walmart has cut its earnings outlook, which has hurt the company's price during the past quarter. Currently, Walmart's financial health is superb, with a modest debt-to-capitalization ratio of 46%. Although the stock is trading at 25 times earnings, the company has a track record of resilience during difficult times. Number 6. Procter & Gamble, Stock Ticker, PG. Procter & Gamble is one of the leading manufacturers of consumer goods in the world, with annual sales exceeding $80 billion. Leading brands include, among many others, Tide, Pampers, Gillette, Duracell, Crest, and Febreze. The business struggled with organic growth for a while. However, the company changed its focus in the middle of the decade. While doubling down on its best products, it sold off dozens of lesser-known brands. The emphasis P&G placed on cleaning and hygiene products in particular helped the company achieve strong results once 2020 rolled around. P&G has increased its dividend for 66 years running, so investors can depend on it to continue doing so. Number 5. McDonald's Corp. Stock ticker, MCD. McDonald's was one of the key blue chip companies with the best performing stocks throughout the financial crisis of 2008, and it also recovered swiftly in 2020. Some experts have even joked that McDonald's is a commercial real estate company that flips burgers on the side because it owns so much real estate. McDonald's profits from consumer cost cutting. McDonald's balance sheet is safeguarded by its massive global real estate portfolio. Number 4. Home Depot, ticker, HD. Home Depot stock has been tanking recently. This is on fears of a major downturn in the housing market as interest rates soar. However, Home Depot's performance is only modestly tied to the new home market. For proof of that, look at 2008. For that year, the S&P 500 plummeted 37%. And the 2008 market turmoil was caused, in large part, by the collapse of the American housing and mortgage markets. Yet, Home Depot stock only dropped 12% in 2008. While people may not be buying new homes, they still repair and take care of their existing ones. And also, during down housing markets, a lot of people move due to foreclosure or to downsize, and these events tend to cause a flurry of home maintenance activities. Additionally, some hobbies, such as gardening, can save people money and gain popularity during recessions. Long story short, 
a recession shouldn't crush Home Depot. Number 3. Pfizer Incorporated, ticker, PFE. Pfizer Incorporated is an American multinational pharmaceutical and biotechnology corporation. Given the company's participation in pandemic-related items, that naturally makes sense. However, it wasn't merely a result of the vaccinations. There are some aspects of the pharmaceutical sector that are recession-proof. Regardless of how the economy is doing, people still require their life-saving medications. A recession is also unlikely to result in lesser remuneration for Pfizer in situations where the government is negotiating the price because politically motivated purchases often follow a distinct set of economic principles. PFE stock continues to trade at less than 8 times projected 2022 profits even after its recent rally, and it yields more than 3% in dividends. Number 2. Johnson & Johnson, ticker, J&J. Johnson & Johnson is situated in the middle of Pfizer and P&G. Pharmaceutical medications, J&J's main product line, have the same recession-resistant qualities as Pfizer's. The Consumer Products Division of Johnson & Johnson, meanwhile, demonstrated its resilience during the 2020 recession and earlier downturns. J&J also operates a substantial medical devices section in addition to those two businesses. With this combination of business units, J&J is more likely to always have at least one outperforming division that can support the rest of the organization. As hospitals get back to normal after the pandemic, this should be the year for medical gadgets. J&J is a fantastic income stock as well, because it has increased its dividend for 60 years running. Number 1. Kraft Heinz Ticker, KHC Food is right up there at the top of the list of necessities for people. Kraft had one of the better years among the Dow components during the difficult year of 2008, according to data. In 2012, Kraft divided into two separate companies, spinning off the beverages and confections division of Mondelez International Incorporated. That opened the door for the historic merger with Heinz. While there have been problems with that combination, Kraft Heinz showed its strength during the recessionary pandemic. By the middle of April, the stock had recovered its March 2020 losses, and since then, it has dramatically increased. Like McDonald's, when times are tough, people trade down to Kraft Heinz's more affordable products. And, with inflation running rampant, Kraft Heinz's large size and well-known household brands should give it operational resiliency. In the meantime, shares yield more than 4%. Which of these safe dividend stocks would you be willing to buy if there was a recession? Let us know in the comments below. For weekly updates on the top stocks to buy and the most recent investment strategies for accumulating wealth, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and happy investing.